I'm Jonas Wingegaard and welcome to the Cycling Dane. Hello everyone, today we are here at Rouleur live and we're here for the second year in a row. But I'm going to be walking around asking fans what they think about pro cycling and how we can improve it. There's been so many things suggested, power meters, etc, etc, bring back the World Cup. But we're going to find out what cycling fans think. Um, I don't know, I think more multi-stage events. I just think like more cycling would be great, like and more calendar. No, just more going on in the calendar. Love watching cycling. So I think just more opportunities to do so. Yeah, I wouldn't have the promotion relegation system for starters. Uh, for fans, the metrics that we see on screen can be so much better still. Like this is just the beginning. Like we should get to a position where you can flip around various riders, you can see their heart rate, you can see the speed they're doing, very little is kind of hidden. There's so much more to be done there, like an actual professional sport, like F1, could we hear select race radios, for example, like just imagine combining the best elements of broadcast from all these other sports. That would be so engaging for the fans and really grow the sport, and it's doable in the next five years. So, UCI, do it. Oh, well, where'd you start? This is going to take more than a little soundbite, but uh, lots and lots of things. But I think, generally speaking, it, we're on the right uh, trajectory. Uh, British cycling is a bit more problematic, and lots to say about that at some point in the future, but we'll see how things go. Um, I think, sort of, from the team car, saying what the team, the DSs, and etc., are saying to the riders, that kind of thing might be quite interesting for us to hear. You know, more data on the screen all the time is always useful to make it more interesting because for non cyclists, it's a bit of a non event. You know, if you're a cyclist, you understand. So, I think the more information on the screen, the more it will help non cyclists to appreciate it. Yeah, it's hard. I think I have been thinking about it. How, how could you do it? For me, it changes a lot when there's a good um, yeah, broadcast on TV with good commentators. That's perhaps the most important thing for me, but especially the riders now, like Van Aert, uh, like even a couple of others, Pogacar as well, who don't always specialize in certain races, who don't just ride the Tour de France and everything else is meant to go towards the Tour de France, no, they do a lot more. I think for me that's a big difference in, in how interesting the races are as well because these guys participate in different kinds of races um, so yeah I don't think it's always necessary to try and involve a lot of numbers and figures and just make it interesting let riders ride different races have good comments on, on TV and yeah for me that's enough actually oh that is an amazing question I really enjoyed some of the uh, like I don't know where they were GoPro, but like the on bike cameras, I thought that was really, really good. Um, I was speaking to the guys from Sip Perrin earlier, and I kind of feel like there's a sustainability angle with bike racing that we could probably do better with electric vehicles and stuff like that. So the, the imagery of cycling is coming from like a, a better point, like the amount of motorbikes that are used and petrol vehicles that are used. So I think that would be good to try and maybe make it a eco sport or a viewers sport from like a better environmental point of view but um, I don't know the cycle cross drone cameras lately have been on point so I think something like that on the grand tours would be amazing well, I get the impression from like some of the talks that with what's going on with gravel that the pro cyclists feel like they're getting like massively managed like micromanaged and, like the sky days when it was like the power data was and um, so I almost just like chill out a bit and stop worrying perhaps quite so much about that. But then you see them racing and they're like, it's, it's nuts. Like the commentators don't know what's going to happen. Or didn't know what was going to happen like every day of the Giro, the Vuelta and the Tour. It's like, what's going to happen today? And I was trying to work with like the, ra the, the races on in the background, like, because I fix bikes. And, and it wasn't getting done because I was just like, normally like the first couple of hours, just like, yeah, it's just in the background, nothing will happen. And you were like, oh God. I'm, I'm not going to get any work done because this is really exciting and they've just blown the race up straight away and no one can work out what's going on so I feel like it is in a really good place but then you hear there's like there's obviously some pressure in the sport that people are finding or maybe they just really like the freedom you get with gravel 
so but now they can do both. So it's like I just, it feels like quite a good place to be, but sorry, it, it's sorry. probably more difficult to commentate on now than it was because it's just really exciting. But I think it's good.